Have you ever done a science experiment and wondered what it'd be like if you did it big? I have. <laughs> and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. Science Max! Today, I'm maxing out the power of water. Water is very heavy. Pressurizing water to make a water-powered car, water pressure pumpkin carving, water flying, and more. All on this episode of Science Max Experiments at Large. <sighs> Greetings, Science Maximites. <clears throat> Welcome to Science Max <clears throat> Experiments at Large. My name is Phil. And today, we're going to be looking at water. But <clears throat> water is very heavy. But that's OK, because we need it to be heavy for this experiment to work. I don't know if I need that much of it, though. Maybe I can get. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah, that's probably all I need. Today, we're going to be building a water-powered car. You'll need a base for your car, like this styrofoam, water bottles, shish kebab skewers, straws, scissors, elastics, paper plates, tape, a square of paper towel, modeling clay, vinegar, baking soda, water, and glue or a hot glue gun if you have an adult to help you, and... Uh, yeah, I know, this one is pretty involved. That's why you should go to the website for step-by-step -step instructions. Take your paper plates and glue two together to make a wheel. Then make three more. Wrap elastics around your base and then tape straws on the bottom. Trim them down, maybe about that much. Then take your shish kebab skewers and push it through a water bottle cap to make a hole. Then stick one wheel on, put the skewer through the straw, and do the same thing on the other three sides. Then take the water bottle cap and get an adult to help you make a perfect hole in it so that it fits your straw. Then use some modeling clay and hot glue to seal the straw and the cap so it's airtight. Attach the water bottle to the base of your car, then fill it with some water and vinegar. Next, you'll want to wrap up a spoonful of baking soda in the square of paper towel so you can make a little package. Finally, stick something underneath the underside of the bottle to raise the end up off the base. Bring your cap and then go outside. Ah, here we are outside. Yeah, I know, we're not really outside, but I have a science lab and you probably don't, so I highly recommend you do this outside. And don't forget your safety glasses. Now, this is why we make a little packet of baking soda, because we want to delay this reaction as long as we can. So I like to hold it there. We'll hold it there with one finger so I can get the cap ready, because we don't want it to react until we can get the cap on and then kink the straw to keep the pressure inside till we're ready to let it go. Then at the last second, you want to drop that packet in and quickly cap it and kink the straw. And woohoo! There you go, a water-powered car. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Phil, wait a minute, that's a vinegar and baking soda-powered car? Well, kind of. The vinegar and baking soda create a gas, and that gas creates pressure in the bottle, and that pressure forces the water out of the bottle. But it's the water leaving the bottle that creates the thrust. The water going that way pushes the car that way. Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So what we're going to do is max out the water-powered car. Figure out how to get water going that way so we can go that way. But we means me and someone else. Who can help me? Oh, I know. Anthony from the Ontario Science Centre. He'd be great at this. Hopefully he's not busy. We're going to max out the water-powered car. <laughs> Phil, oh, sorry about that. Did I scare you? Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, how you doing? Awesome, thanks. Great. I was wondering if I could get your help on an experiment. Yeah, okay. Which one? Uh, I'm building a water-powered car. It's going to be great. It's Science Max headquarters. I'll, I'll show you. Phil? Anthony? Phil? I'm here. Phil, where are we? 
Oh, this is the parking lot for Science Max headquarters. <sighs> so, okay, today yeah. I want to max out the water car. This thing is awesome. Yeah, so what you do is you use vinegar and baking soda, yeah. and you pressurize this container, and, okay. and the water shoots out that way. So the car goes this way. Ah, Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Yeah, you know okay. your stuff. This okay. is why you're here. This is because I could really use your help and advice on how to make this bigger. OK, so we're going to need a bigger tank to pressurize. Uh, so this, what about something like this? So we need something that can hold pressure. Do you think this would work? I don't know if we'd want to. And we'd have to put like pressure fittings on the barrel, like like cut a hole yeah. and weld them on. I don't know if that's. Something tells me this wouldn't work. So OK, need, sure. Um... I got some other stuff over there maybe that we can uh, use. Oh, ah, ah, check this out. Yeah, I think this would work. This would work a lot better. Well, this is my stand-up wash tub base. Your what? So yeah. we'll, we'll reuse it. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm thinking yeah. now, though? I, I know yeah. this. The problem is, I think this is like an oil drum, right? It and, is. And it's, a, it's an oil tank from a house. And these things are not built for pressure. You can get water tanks that you pressurize. Oh, uh, like hot water heaters. Yeah, you can uh, pressurize. They're built for that stuff. You pressurize them in your basement, and then the water travels up to, to like, the top your floor. shower that or makes... something like that. So we'll, all we need to do is get a pressurized water tank. OK. Put water in it, put pressure in it, and put it on wheels. <laughs> and then we open the valve and it goes, right? That sounds amazing. All yeah. right, let's get to it, man. OK. okay we, I got uh... some water tanks over here in this corner of the parking lot. Seriously? Being a chef is my absolute passion. And cooking up science recipes is my speciality. I'm Buster Bika, and this is Cooking with Science. Oh, hello. When you're a professional chef like me, you spend lots of time perfecting the perfect recipes. I know my way around a kitchen, and today I'd like to show you one... That's not the fridge. Oh. <laughs> today I'd like to show you one of my favorites. Quail truffle gazpacho cakes on a plate of ice. Beautiful. And here's how to make it. Take some quail, some truffle, and some gazpacho and put it into a cake. Delicious. And here's the interesting part. How to make the plate of ice. Ooh, how did I do it? Well, I tried many different methods, and none were very successful. <laughs> but now I let science do the work for me. So here's what I do. You see, I've got my large block of ice, and I've got a fishing line over the top, and on the bottom, I've got two heavy weights. Now we wait. The heavy weights put pressure on the fishing line. This pressure melts the ice where it's pressing down. As the ice melts, the fishing line moves through the block of ice and eventually cuts its way through. There we are. My hours of waiting have almost paid off. You see, I've got a perfect line through the ice, and I stopped it just before it finished. It's the pressure of the line on the ice that makes it work. The same thing happens when you use ice skates. You see, it's a very thin line, and your body weight presses down on the ice, melts it a bit, and that allows you to glide across the ice. It also allows me to just pop this off. There you are, you see? Perfect plate of ice to put my delicacy on. Let's just try that now. There we go. Um. So I've joined Anthony, and we're going to max out our water-powered car. Our small design works by creating gas, which creates pressure, which forces the water out of the bottle, creating thrust. Our new plan is to get a water tank, put it on wheels, and put water in it. Then we use an air compressor to pressurize the air inside. When we open the valve, the water is forced out this way, which causes our water car to go that way. OK. Ha-ha! <laughs> so, water car, maxed out version. Aha, uh -huh, huge. Water yep. tank. And filled with lots of water and lots of, uh, lots of air. air. Yeah, pretty good, right? Whoa. <laughs> it's a lot of it. So, did it mess up, did it mess up my hair? Uh, no, you look fine. You look great. Okay, good. Now, the only thing left is we just got to open uh, this valve here, right? Yeah. You want to do the honors? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go! go! We open the valve and our pressurized tank moves forward. 
The air pressure in the tank forces the water out with enough force to move the tank. Awesome! That was awesome! That was a great run, yeah! That was amazing! So, pressurized water tank on wheels. Totally worked. Totally worked. Total success, yeah. Um, so, because this is Science Max, the only thing we can do now is make it bigger. Bigger, right? exactly, okay. yeah. So, uh, problem is, I don't think we're gonna find a tank bigger than this one. Yeah. Um, so, because then it would be too heavy, right? Exactly. Much way too bigger. Heavy. Maybe, maybe what we can do is just get a lot more water, okay. and then, and then we find a way to pressurize the water. Oh, so don't pressurize the whole tank. Just, just the stream of water that's going out As of the tank. As it comes out, exactly. Something kind of like a, like a fire hose. A fire hose, right? So, so we take a big container of water, right? And we, I guess we would need a pump. Yeah, like a pump would be perfect. So then we, we suck the water out of the container, put it through the pump to pressurize it, shoot it out of a wa uh, fire hose. Uh huh. And then our car. Goes flying. Goes flying. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All, All right. right. Amazing. When water is going fast, it has a lot of force. This is a power washer. It's made for cleaning concrete and wooden decks, but it doesn't use soap and it doesn't use heat. It only uses the power of water. Let's try it out. The power washer creates a stream of water that is moving really fast. It has the force to clean concrete, strip the paint, or even the Science Max logo off wood. But how do I max out the power washer? What's the most ultimate use I can think of? Power washer pumpkin carving. <laughs> The power of the pressure washer creates a stream of water strong enough to make short work of my pumpkin. Power washers may only shoot water, but they can be dangerous, so don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah, science! The Wizard Academy. All you have to do is demonstrate true magic and you'll be granted entry. Send in the next candidate. Oh, no, not Overwhelmo. Did someone say Overwhelmo? No, wait, no, next. No, not that. Okay, okay, good, okay. Behold the design, Overwhelmo! Welcome back, Overwhelmo. If you can truly demonstrate magic, you may join the Wizard Academy. A glass of water! <laughs> no, no, wait, that is not the whole trick. Okay, hold on. Okay, and this, a waterproof playing card. I put the card on the glass and flip it upside down, and then I say the magic word. The magic word. And behold, magic! <laughs> Yes? Is that it? Yes? Well, it's not magic. It is defying gravity! Nope. The water would fall and the card would fall to the floor. It's not magic. This is magic! No, it's science. Horse feathers! Look, the reason the water doesn't come out is the air at the top of the glass keeps it held in by suction. More air would have to get into this glass to decrease the suction, and because the playing card is keeping a seal on the glass, the suction of the air is holding the weight of the water up. Boulder dash! Uh, all right, look, let's do a little experiment then, shall we? Let's move the playing card just a little bit from the edge of the glass. You see those bubbles? Yes. That's bad news. <laughs> Science, not magic. Well, I will return, and then you will see your mind will be melted by by the. No, that's not my music. Hold, hold. Will you will rue the day when? That's not my new order. 
Our maxed out water car worked pretty well. Now it's time for something even more maxed out. We start with a giant tank on wheels. We add a pump to pressurize the water and a fire hose to shoot it out the back. What's more, this version is big enough for me and Anthony to ride. Water car! <laughs> so this amazing. is the more super improved water car. This so. tank holds 1,000 liters. And right now it has 720 liters of water. We have a pump. A pump, that's water right, pump. our water pump. So the idea is we take the water from this container out through your hose, really pressurized, going really fast that way. Our car goes really fast this way. All we gotta do is just turn on the pump and we're ready to go. So we fire up the pump and the water stream comes out really strong. So strong I can barely hold on to it. But even so, there's a problem. Yeah. Nothing happened. No, nothing really. Well, something happened. We got wet, but it didn't really. Okay. It's too heavy. Too heavy. So you're on it, and I'm on it. That's a lot of weight. So we don't this. ride it. That's something. Yeah. And uh, also. This is kind of going crazy. Yeah. Because if nobody's holding it, it's just going to flap around. So we'll have a brace here. Yeah. Shoots it that way. That's good. And then we'll need, I feel like we'll need something to kind of propel it. Maybe a better propulsion system. Kind of like uh, one of those steamboats. So we put a big paddle wheel here. Exactly. And we aim it, I guess we aim it like down. down at the, yeah, exactly. Like that. And then. At the paddle wheel. And then the paddle wheel spins. And that propels the car. Exactly. Right? Right. Okay. okay, well, we can do that. Let's do it. Sounds good, Let's yeah. Together. You know what? I have a paddle wheel because I had a failed hydroelectric. This is called flyboarding. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Jets of water are being shot out from this board at my feet. Whoa. The engine on the watercraft behind me creates the water pressure, which travels up the hose and through the jets. The force of the water is strong enough that I can use it to fly around. So what's the difference between this and a water car? Well, we don't have to take that much water with us because it starts in the lake and ends up in the lake. So the only water I have to carry is in the hose that goes up to the platform. <laughs> Flyboarding is lots of fun, but it takes some practice to get it right. Bouncing on jets of water isn't easy, but I got the hang of it. It's all due to Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Oh. Oh. Physics! Woohoo! <laughs> Our maxed out water car didn't work so well. The main reason is that that much water is heavy. 720 kilograms. Yeah. So Anthony and I have a plan. Rather than rely on the force of the water going straight out the hose, we're gonna put a water wheel on the back of the water car. A water wheel works by catching water in the segments of the wheel. The weight of the water on one side of the wheel causes it to start turning. But we're gonna use the weight of the water and the pressure of the water. Hopefully, both combined will be enough force to turn the wheel, which will drive our water car forward. A little construction, and we have it ready to go. Okay, so here's the latest version of the water car, water wheel! Yeah. All right. Yeah, there we go. We try it out, but there's a problem. The trick with the water car is the water itself weighs a lot. Every liter is one kilogram. So our 720 liters we start with is way too heavy to get the car moving in the beginning. But as the water gets pumped out, there's a sweet spot where the weight is low enough the water car might move. But then there's only a little water left, so it's a balancing act. We fill it again and see if we can come up with a plan. Okay, new and improved version, only half full. So the idea this time is because we're starting with it only half full, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Then it'll begin to go a little easier. 
because it won't have as much weight as it had the last time we did it. And Phil, yeah? I can't even move this thing. What? I don't, I don't think, I think there's too much fuel. There's too much. Yeah, there's no way we can move this. There's no way this is going to be able to move Even awesome. half full. You even can't half full. I think we need less fuel. We're going to get down to like maybe like a quarter or something like that. The thing is, we ran it from the full tank last time, and it, and it never. Okay, it so never moved at all. What if, what if we gave it like a, a push to kind of help it get over that little like that little bump of energy? Ah, oh, so give it a, the, the, the first push when it's a, still got a bunch of water in it, we give it a bit of a push, and then maybe it'll go in its exactly, own. Exactly, exactly. Okay, Wanna yeah, absolutely, let's okay. do it. We start the pump and wait for the amount of water to get to just the right spot. Then we give it a push while it's still kind of heavy to start it moving. Sure enough, that push makes all the difference. Yeah, okay. The water car is light enough to roll, has some momentum to keep it going, and the force of the water coming out the pump is enough to keep it moving forward on its own. Still going! Oh. All right! Oh, amazing! Yeah! Look at it! Man, this thing worked like a beauty! It worked all, it went all the way that way. Yeah! Way to go! The water car, finally, a success, it was the push. It was the push, that's all we needed to get it going. A bit yeah. of a push to get it going and a lot less water, and uh -huh. there you go, it totally works. All right, you wanna do it again? Absolutely. All right, yes. here we go. Okay. See you next time on Science Max Experiments at Large. So much easier yeah. to push it without any water inside it. Uh. Let it go and... Careful. I can't really see with my goggles. Behold the power of physics! Yeah. It's hard, so. <laughs> this is called the world! All we have to do is wait.